Hey guys, I hope your day is still going well. Oh, damn, you guys almost killed me on that last one, I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, this is the last video for today. It's Hip Hop Day. This one is a request. I'm shaking bad, I'm sorry. Um, it's going out to Luke Meldrum. Um, it is an I Am The Real AK um, remix, and it is to God's plan. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been waiting a long time for this, like beginning of April, I guess. I apologize. It's taken so long to get to you. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a Drake fan mm -hmm. at all. And um, I'm going to fix this from shaking in a sec. I just had to look at the book. Um, I'm not a Drake fan at all, and um, I especially am not a fan of this song of Drake. And I don't even, I don't even listen to Drake like that, to be honest with you. Um, give me a sec. Yeah, I don't even listen to Drake like that. Um, I don't know. He's just when he first came out, he he was just too poppy to me. He just seemed like another kind of. Um, he never came out like a rapper to me. When he first came out, he just came out like another pop star. You know what I mean? And so then when people started calling him a rapper, I was like, really? He's not a real rapper, right? I mean, like a real, real rapper. He's just like kind of like a pop rapper because it's... So I've never really listened to Drake like that. So when people started putting him in like classes of being like one of the best rappers, I was just kind of like, but I can't really judge because I've never really listened to him like that. You know what I mean? Um, I've reacted to his videos. I've watched some of his videos. God's plan was one of them, of course, because it was huge. But yeah, let's get to this remix because I'm excited to see what he does to his remix. And chances are I'm going to like it better than the original, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, here we go. I Am The Real AK remix to Drake's God, God's Plan. Let's get it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Living the way that I want, yeah Rushing when I ain't even born there I guess a fuck what you want, yeah French and your bitch just so there Memories I ain't never trying to bring back Moved on from that, now I'm all dead Eyes keen and I'ma kill them all Such a gory death like it's all dead Knew I'd always find a better way Making money clean, more is on the way I was always broke, never in the brain Never start to think I would never make it In this career, devil in my head Trying to take the wheel, trying to make me steer Right into the gutter, tell my family I love them Felt them going under, knew I'd overcome it, yeah I made it out, yeah so they hate now, yeah. But they stay around, yeah. Why the fuck they stay around? Yeah. Thinking about it, it don't make sense. Just like you, you don't make sense. Like your broke ass, you don't make sense. Always give me shit, but I don't take shit. Shit jumping when the subs hitting. I'm a line feast and I got blood dripping from my teeth. You know ain't no fucks giving. I'm a line feast and I got blood dripping. Everybody knows it's about that time. New shit coming, it's about that time. I've been out in LA, all about my grind on the road to the top. Got my mind in line. Distraction coming, I can feel it now. Feel the pressure trying to tear me down. Not a chance, always held it down. You think I run track the way I'm running around? I handle business every second breathing. I'm a go get it, king. I need to be in my work ethic. Gonna get me seated on a Thrown up above you, sketchy leeches. It's a cold world, so the boss freezing. Hearts frozen through all season. Got a harder hustle, cause I'm on me. Hard talk, cause I'm proud to now be. Every it. time I'm on a beat, it's homicide. Born for this, I'm going in until I die. Shut your mouth when I'm talking, do you mind? Talking why you really must be out your mind. I'll be working every day now. Hey, can't never play around. Fuck about what you say, million subs is on the way now. OG shit is dropping, never stop, we on our way now. Moving up and up, it's like we flying with the planes now. My plan, this is my plan, my plan, my plan, this is my plan. 
my plan, this is my plan, my plan Working hard, I put my faith in God's hands Giving back to those who ride with me Every person who been guiding me My brother, sister, father, mother too And Mike, you got it, they've been guiding me Through the struggle times, but the great too Now they see us coming and they make room On a different wave, but we stay true And any obstacles, we going straight through Growing and proving, they say we won't do what we did it And now they got nothing to say Soul in this music, I knew we could do what we going And prove that we got what it takes Stepping around when they know we around They all scared of us now when they stay out the way Shutting shit down from this moment I now once a single is dropping, been counting the days Thank God I've been patient, never sat and just waited Always worked and I made shit, happened now she's amazing Life's crazier than ever, never thought to quit ever Now we're stacking that cheddar, things can only get better Stay focused on the next move, I give a fuck about the next dude It's all ups and downs, but I'm focused now on the next summit I'ma get to 2017, we killed it, we the greatest team and they feel it 2018, we coming for you, first official single drops at a million It was good. What I, I guess, okay, so this was dropped 2000, right at the beginning of 2018, I guess. Um, so this is the third I Am The Real AK remix I've done. Um, and this is the oldest one I've done. The other two are more recent. But the, the funny thing is, is even though he's further along in his career now, like he's about to go on tour, he's got tour dates and stuff. Um, the common thread that he said, you know how, okay, rappers tend to get stuck on a theme and it, it happens to a, to a lot of them. They have to kind of like break the habit at some point and some never do. I mean, Eminem's been doing it for 20 plus years and people still don't care. But um, rappers get on a theme and they'll ride that theme out until people are sick of, uh, of hearing about it. Like, okay, Eminem's theme is, well, for a long time was his mother and the way he grew up and his problem with women and... You know, but that's Eminem. I guess what I'm trying to say is Eminem's theme is his life and how shitty it was and how hard it was growing up and, and how crappy it can be now, you know. But it works for him because it connects him to his audience and people can identify with that and that's why he has such a large fan base. Um, but part of that was also the struggle of being at the time, the only white rapper doing what he was doing mm -hmm. and not being accepted into the hip hop mm -hmm. community. And because of that, he was always saying, uh, the struggle of always saying, look, I'm the best or I'm better than and blah, 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 blah. And now it's the struggle of saying, look, I am the greatest. What did he say on the on the homicide track just, now, um, just released? Mm -hmm. He said, look, mm -hmm. I am the GOAT and all the other MCs mm -hmm. know it. They'll just never say it. Mm -hmm. And he's right because he's white. <laughs> they won't. There are certain MCs in the hip hop game that for whatever reason will never ever say that Eminem is the greatest MC alive. They will always put Jay-Z ahead of him simply because he's white. Because he's white. He'll always be in the top three discussion but they'll never ever put him number one. But that's his common theme, right? I, I, I went off track. Now let's look at Logic. Logic's common theme has, he got stuck on that common theme of I'm biracial. And, but he couldn't ride it out. It only got him so far and then the fans were like, okay, if we hear another damn song where you mention that you're biracial, um, God, Drake got caught on that too because he's biracial and he used it for a while as well until the fans were like, Jesus, if you mention that one more time, we're, I'm just done. Now, do you understand now what I'm saying where rappers will get caught on a theme and they'll use that theme. Um, and sometimes they can 
ride that theme out for mm -hmm. an entire career or sometime mm -hmm. because it helps them identify with their audience mm -hmm. or sometimes they can only ride it out so far. Mm -hmm. And then the audience is like, okay, you need to change this shit up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about this anymore. Mm -hmm. The last three songs that I've heard of, I am the mm -hmm. real AK his theme. He's got an underlying mm -hmm. theme of, mm -hmm. um, having a really difficult time mm -hmm. at home you know, struggles mm -hmm. with finance mm -hmm. or, you know, being, mm -hmm. being poor or having struggles mm -hmm. at home financially and stuff like that and having a rough mm -hmm. childhood and people not mm -hmm. believing in him. Um, but, and him ha basically having to carry mm -hmm. the family on his back with his music mm -hmm. because they have nothing. Mm -hmm. And so that's his underlying mm -hmm. theme. And I think he's going to try to ride that theme as long as he can because, um, but he's also, he's also started to put his own music out, which is good. The music is good. I've listened to some of it. He's going to have to stop doing these remixes because the remixes only last for so long. And Joyner Lucas, <clears throat> who I love and adore, you guys know that, he learned that the hard way. Because once he made a name for himself and had to go out on tour, mm -hmm. you can't do someone else's music when you're touring. You can't do remixes. Mm -hmm. People want your music. They want to hear you and your music when you're touring. They don't want to hear all these remixes that you've done. Because that's what Jordan mm -hmm. Lucas did in the beginning. He, did, mm -hmm. he just smashed mm -hmm. other people's stuff. He destroyed it mm -hmm. uh, with remixes. He's a master mm -hmm. at it. So is this kid. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to stop with the remixes and just start putting his own original music out. Because mm -hmm. if he if he blows up, if he gets really big, he's going to have to have his own original stuff. But this was really good. I liked it. I liked it. I it's, Like I said, not as much as other stuff because I, don't, I didn't particularly care for God's plan. And I, I'm assuming it's the beat because I really liked the substance that he put into this, the content. I liked the content. I just, I don't like the beat, I guess. I really just don't like the beat of God's plan. But content was good. He was good, right on point. I like the intensity. I like the fact that he's in a booth instead of um, in his room with just that weird thing around him. Because um, it looks a little bit more, it was a little more dark. And the song was darker too, which I like. Um... So yeah, so that was good. That's all I have to say about it. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, have a great day. And remember, comment, like, and subscribe, and take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.